So what is the latest on the thing with the snowplow? Are you having any luck on it? Uh, we've got a guy coming in today, hardly speaks English, but he <laughs> will be here to check out, make sure, you know, the size of everything and okay. figure out what two parking lots means. Um, get an estimate from him. We've got another guy who gave us an estimate at 500 bucks for the rest of the season. Does not include salting, but hey. Got it, buddy? I got it. Uh-oh. System. Everybody else is going to be on either tomorrow or Monday. They'll come check us out. Okay. We will know then. Is he a nice guy? Like, did you get any kind of quote at all? Which guy? The dude you talked to today? Uh, the one guy's coming in, the other guy said 500. Oh, okay. 500? So 500 for the rest of the season, ain't gonna fly. No. Okay. Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to the Geek Group. We're here at the Leonard Street Labs for what is our first official educational video. Um, kind of a situational thing, we didn't set this up. Uh, we had a fire a couple days ago, uh, well a couple weeks now, it's been a while, and fire department ripped off the old doorknob because they had to get in here and we didn't have a key. So we've just, I've just been picking a lock on this thing. We thought we had it fixed. We put this on just the other day and I've had to pick it twice now to get in here because the key doesn't work. So we're going to take off the, this lock which is from the janitor's closet and we're going to replace it with something that doesn't quite suck so badly. We have this, which, well, it's everything you want from a cheap lock. It's, it's not the nice lock that's going to end up in here after the remodel, but just to get a quick knob and lock on my office, this is what we got. And it sucks pretty bad, but it's $16, so I really, I can't complain. So, to do this, here's how it's done. You need a screwdriver, and I'm going to start by taking out on the side here, you can see there's a couple screws. Now, locksmithing is very much an art form, and I am not a locksmith. So, to all the real proper locksmiths out there, that are going to make comment to the many ways in which I do this very poorly. Shut up and uh, make your own videos. Because <laughs> I have to swap out the lock and I'm going to try and do it the best I can. And anything I do here is better than what we had. So on the back, I've got a couple screws, which uh, here I'll see if you can get around. You can see on the inside, there's right there. You we got a couple screws and they're really long. So I pull those out. You can see there's the screw right there. So we pull that out, pull that out. We've got our two halves to our lock. I'm saving everything because I may need these screws somewhere else. And then wiggle this out, and that's that. So the new lock, is open. Yep, yeah, right down here. This is one of those things where I'm doing Bob Vila stuff, and man, I'm great in a high voltage lab. Give me wires at high voltage. I know what I'm talking about. This stuff, kind of making it up as I go along. Got the instructions, just just in case we need them. I got the instructions right here. But something, something. Hey, we got keys. Those are giant, not ugly keys, aren't they? Wow. All right. So we got our thing. We got parts. We got pieces. We got a bag of screws. Got a plate. Cool. All right, let's see if we can get this in here. Now it's got two and three eighths and two and three quarter. I'm just gonna leave it. Oh, it's adjustable. Oh, that's cool. I'll just tweak it when I get in there. All right. So you can see this has a little sleeve on it. I'm gonna overlap the sleeve and slide this right in. And then that just pushes right into place. And then we get into our box of screws. All right. And then we take and put this screw in here. We put this screw in the bottom. And the bottom screw is kind of stripped out, but we'll see if it holds. Not getting a really good grip with it. 
I may have to replace it with a bigger one, but we'll see. All right, lock on the outside. Now, to put it in right, if you look at the lock, the big part of the hole goes at the bottom. Now, I want to see how this lines up because this is adjustable for the two different sizes. Let's see how we look on the outside. Yeah, that's, that's where it wants to be. All right, now I slide the new one. There's, on the back, you can see the long tongue to it. And that goes through. There's the long tongue, and then there's the big, well, armature really. And you want the armature to engage in this, and you want the long tongue to go all the way through and grab into the slot. So you can line it up, and by turning the knob, you can turn where the tongue goes. And that goes just like that. So we're all lined up here. So now I slip this through. Get there. Slip it right into the thing. And we're good. And you don't have to worry about how the larger base disc lines up, because you can turn that once it's on. And you have a pretty good idea where it goes. So now we get our long screws, which it's a new lock, so we've got two of them now. Hey! Yay for professionalism. Get those in. And this is kind of tricky. you got to find a hole. You don't really need to reef them down super tight or anything like that. Hey, look at that. It works really good. Now, at this point, since this lock is very similar to the old one, it may work with the existing striker plate. We don't have to mess with that at all. So let's, let's take a look and see. Hey, how about that? Look at that. We got lucky. Boop. See? Four screws. Just a quick couple minutes. Nothing to it. Now let's see if it locks. Here, I'll lock my office. It's locked. Put the door shut. Boom. It's locked. It's good. Check the key. It unlocks. Beautiful. I wonder if I can lock it and just see. Okay. Beautiful. Unlock it. Now, should we give it the real test and see if we can pick it? Yes. Okay. I'm going to grab my lock picks right here. All right. Now, I've got the keys outside the door just in case. Keep the door open. Oh, we got to do it with the door open? All right. Grab my little quick pick here. This isn't my good lock pick. It's just a little crappy one I carry around in my backpack because this will do a lot. You'd be amazed. Here, I'll see if I can get you a shot of that so you can see what I'm doing here. And we already know which way we got to go, so we'll just drop that in there. Ten tries. I can't get it in ten quick, easy tries, so it's a good enough lock that I'm happy with it. And every now and then you get blindly lucky and it just pops open in five seconds. All right, so that's your basics of it. How to install a simple, this is a residential style lock. This is the kind of thing you'd have on a bedroom door. It's not anywhere near like a proper commercial grade lock. But we're going to redo all the locks here in a couple months anyway because for the boxy system we have to have the card access and everything. And they're going to have like electric strikers and all kinds of really cool stuff. But there will be videos on that coming up in a couple months. But for you guys who just want to know how to do a quick and simple, you know, change out a lock in your bedroom door or something like that, that's really all there is to it. Four screws, five minutes, and eh, it's easy. So I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group. You guys have fun. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, donate, and do a little happy dance at least once a week. And don't forget, call your mom. She misses you. You guys have fun. I'll see you next time. Bye. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org 
for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.